the yeah. biggest challenge on the movie so far was the Wonder Woman costume. When we started doing research on the character and also determining what we would do for this costume, we felt like it had to be a costume that a warrior would wear. Michael and Zach came up with this idea that what if we go with something that's more like a gladiator costume that feels ancient, but it feels like something she could actually fight in. It has a beautiful chest plate, it has a kind of Wonder Woman emblem, and it has the ever so slight hint of red and blue within the metal. It's been around for centuries and centuries because she's immortal, and who knows how old this costume is, and it really feels like something you could fight in. One of the first things that Zach and I talked about is she's been wearing this costume for her entire history, which is 3,000 years, it's never changed, and so it, it, you can see the history of the character within the costume itself. So you can see the influence of Greek culture and the gladiator-style metal armor that she wears, the leg armor, the split skirt. You can also see the centuries of wear from battle, from, you know, strikes from swords, all sorts of wear and tear. The leather is crackled and ancient looking. All of her weapons are distressed and they have a fantastic sense of age. We really wanted the character to have a perfect balance between a power and a sense of, of intimidation, but also balance that with a grace and a majesty. On this, the inspiration, I've got to say, of the design of all of the armor and all of the world of Themyscira, I've tried to grow it out of the Wonder Woman costume used in Batman versus Superman. So taking all the style lines, taking all the information in that one costume inspired all of the others. It was incredible. It serves the character. I just love it. I didn't want to take it off. <laughs> what I wanted to achieve with Wonder Woman's costume is to get a mixture of strength but also elegance. She's a legitimate warrior and a fantastic, strong fighter, but she also, the way she fights is very different from the other characters. She has a real discipline and a, a strength and a, a majesty to her way of fighting and that extends to the whole Amazon culture. She's battle-scarred, she's obviously been in a lot of battles before, her costume is very distressed. Her costume has changed a little bit, mostly in the colouring. It's a little bit more vibrant this time around. It has a little bit more glow to it. And also the biggest change is probably just the practicality of it all. I need to be able to fight, move, sit, kick. We ended up having, I think, over 14 different costumes. One is softer, one is shinier, one is heavier, one is darker, one is lighter. So at the end of the day, I was as comfortable as could be in this type of costume. Oh, that's the best part of it.